Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Austin from Verdon, Illinois, and welcome to the third episode of Cold Laser TV. We're here in the um, Cold Laser TV studio. For the third episode, I'm going to respond to an email. Um, someone that watched the first two videos uh, shot me an email. They said, you know, you talked in the first video about why you as a chiropractor got into cold laser therapy, and you mentioned how you really kind of knocked it out of the park with a uh, your first shoulder patient, a chronic shoulder patient with the lasers. You also mentioned how you cured your own poison ivy, case of poison ivy in less than 10 minutes. And then you also talked in the second video about um, how some cold lasers are very expensive. But what you haven't told us yet is how do cold lasers actually work. So thank you for asking, and you're in for a treat, because we're going to get into the meat and potatoes today in episode three of how cold laser therapy works. So if we think about it, cold laser therapy, I've got a little $30 laser here. These are the kind that we um, sell our patients for at-home use. I'll get into more about that in a later video. But you can see here that we have, in this case, visible red light. This is 635 nanometers, if you want to get scientific with it, but visible red light and the photons are what actually um, are therapeutic. So the photons are the units of energy that are used in cold laser therapy. So obviously if we're using visible red light, we see the photons, they're visible red. If we're using infrared light, we do not see the photons. They are red, but the human eye cannot see them. That's why we call them infrared. But either way, those are the typical scenarios where we're using visible red or infrared. Although we do have a couple other types of light that you might see as well. Um, you might see someone using um, visible green, and that would be best for acupuncture work. For musculoskeletal issues, you might see someone using blue light as well. Those are typically from LEDs, and the blue light, actually, some research is showing that's pretty good for MRSA, the um, resistant staph infection. So there's some promising research on that. But we're going to talk about today, how does cold laser therapy work? So the laser light photons, now when they encounter abnormal cells and tissues, they have a healing effect. So they speed up the healing process. They reduce inflammation, they reduce swelling, edema, they reduce pain. They also increase the range of motion rather quickly of the area. So let's say we're, we're working on a shoulder where the range of motion is reduced, possibly a frozen shoulder or a rotator cuff, something like that. And so by going in there and lasering the areas that need lasered, we're able to get those laser-like photons to those damaged cells and tissues, thus that's why in the example I used in the first video, that's why that lady was able to take her arm where she wasn't able to raise it above this high for two years, and then she was able to take it all the way high after a nine minute laser treatment. Because we basically got those laser light photons into the cells and tissues, they produced a healing effect. So when these laser light photons interact with the abnormal, damaged, diseased, or unhealthy cells, like I said, they have a healing effect, they do that, because they increase blood supply to the area, they increase oxygenation to the area, they also increase um, what's called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Um, if you've had any science classes, you might have heard of the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle is the cycle that typically drives the production of ATP, and ATP is the building blocks that cells use for energy. So by using cold laser therapy, it is a known fact that we can increase the amount of ATP at the cellular level um, by the laser light photons reacting with those cells. And that thus increases the healing, speeds up the healing process and drives all kinds of um, cellular reactions that are for the benefit of the patient and for the benefit of the cell. So that's how cold laser therapy works. Now, I remember in my early days as a cold laser therapist, six, six and a half years ago, and I'd get some crazy condition that come in, not your typical chiropractic problem, and I would email one of my, or I would call one of my uh, mentors in laser therapy, and I would ask him, 
I said, I've got this patient that came in with a unexplained skin rash. Or I've got this patient that came in with a pilonidal cyst. Or I've got this patient that came in with uh, some other kind of crazy condition that's really kind of out of the scope of chiropractic, one might think. And I would ask him, hey, can, laser, can laser therapy help this? Can cold laser therapy help this? And he would say, Todd, you just have to remember one simple rule. If there are abnormal cells and tissues, cold laser therapy can help, okay? Because what, what does cold laser therapy do? And I'd say, well, it normalizes cells and tissues. It increases the function of those cells and tissues. It speeds up the healing process of those cells and tissues. And he would say, exactly. So if we have abnormal cells and tissues, we want to apply cold laser therapy, and chances are we're going to see improvement. So that's how cold laser therapy works. Now, I've got a little insider secret for you here. This is a $30 laser that I sell my patients for at-home use at 635 nanometers. That's the wavelength of this light. Now, I talked about in the first two videos that there was a $14,000 laser on the market. It uses the same wavelength of light, roughly, okay? 635 nanometers. Actually, I think they use 632, but I mean, we're splitting hairs there, folks. So 632, 635, they're pretty similar. For all intents and purposes, they're the same wavelength of light, okay? That laser's $14,000. It's not any more powerful than this laser, 5 milliwatts. The truth is, folks, the cells and tissues, they don't care. Here's that little secret. They don't care if you spent $30 on that laser. They don't care if you spent fourteen grand on that laser, okay? So bottom line, if we get the right wavelength of laser light to those cells and tissues that are damaged, they're going to have a healing effect. So it doesn't matter if it was a $30 laser or a $14,000 laser that produced those laser light photons that just had that interaction with those damaged, unhealthy, or diseased cells and tissues. So that's how laser therapy works. Now keep in mind though that visible red light isn't going to cure everything. Okay, we're going to need infrared light, we're going to need different kinds of infrared light for some kind of conditions. So visible red light isn't going to cure everything, but that's the easiest example for me to give you. So. That's how cold laser therapy works to increase the function of cells and tissues. And my favorite, I almost left out here, oh my gosh, I don't know how, how I did this, but my favorite reason, what I tell my patients over and over and over about why I love laser, cold laser therapy so much is that my favorite reason is that cold laser therapy increases the tissues, the once damaged tissues ability to handle additional stress. Now, just like I had a football player that came in the other day. Um, he is uh, going through practices for the new football season and a semi-pro athlete. And he came in because he tweaked his hamstring muscle. I went in there with my three best lasers for that condition. Um, we went in there and we did a treatment. Um, it took about 15 minutes. And I got a... Facebook message from him yesterday, his first game Saturday, he said, man, I feel like I'm good to go for that game. The hammy's doing awesome. So, once again, increases the tissue's ability to handle additional stress, which is what he's going to be doing on Saturday when he has football practice. So, that's how cold laser therapy works. Really, it's just common sense stuff. We have light receptors in the different cells. We have light receptors in different parts of the cells, the cell membrane, the mitochondria. And what happens is they just respond to different wavelengths of light. So, this is all natural stuff, folks. Now, this is all natural. We're just introducing light at the appropriate wavelength to the appropriate um, areas of injury and we're just speeding up the healing effect. That's really what we're doing here. This is just all natural stuff. So that's how cold laser therapy works, folks. Thank you for joining me on episode three of Cold Laser TV. I look forward to having you join me on future episodes. So thank you for joining me. Have a terrific day, and I hope you know more about cold laser therapy and why it works and how it works at this point. Thank you.